back again today and best news possible. So our purge temp on this CVHF we left off with is back up the following morning to 36 degrees. That's awesome. It's not currently in a pump out. It is still running obviously, but we're not pumping out. And so this is exactly what I wanted to see. Um, that tells me that whatever is going on, it's not severe enough to, uh, that the purge unit couldn't catch up. So doesn't mean that there's still not something else happening. Doesn't mean that there's still not leaks. Doesn't mean that we still don't have issues. It just means that they're not as severe as they could be. So my next step is uh, we I, I'm going to have the engineer go ahead, transfer the plants over, and get this chiller online, and see if we can get it to run, and get it to run without surging. If it won't, or if it still has trouble, then we may let it run on a purge. And I will, I'll end up resetting the disable timer. This is, uh, so tomorrow's New Year's Eve. Um, so we'll be out for a four day weekend. So I'll have that purge run over the four day weekend. And then when we come back, uh, it'll be the fourth, January 4th. When we come back, we can try another startup and uh, see if that helps or if it's doing better at that point. So, let's do it. So I got the plant switched over. Uh, the chiller is running fine so far. Our approaches look really good, I'm happy with that. My uh, purge is doing really well and uh, it's done a couple of pump outs, real short ones after it started up and since then it's only gotten better. I'm going to continue monitoring this for several minutes but what I really think happened here was this was shut down. I had a team come in and brush tubes. It tells me we may have a small leak somewhere and this chiller was running on adaptive purge for, uh, for a long time for now. So between the time it spent off, because we had it off for at least a day, if not more, uh, as part of the maintenance. And then uh, whenever they went to turn it back on, uh, the, they were having trouble with the valves on the condenser water and the automation was acting a little funny in ways that it shouldn't have been acting. And in the process, it ended up causing uh, the chiller to surge like crazy. So I think it's possible that there may be a, a real small leak. And then when they had the water issues, that small leak was only made worse by repetitive surging for several days. Um, we had some other techs trying to work on it. They were having trouble kind of pinpointing exactly what, what, what it needed, what was going on. They did finally find the, uh, the bypass valve wasn't working properly. They got those things addressed, but the damage was already done by that point. Uh, we had already taken on enough atmosphere that it couldn't run without surging because it had too much atmosphere in it. So, what it needed was a, to sit overnight and do a pump out is what it needed. So what I'm gonna do is from here, I'm gonna put the purge to auto, which means that when the chiller runs, the purge runs, instead of adaptive, run it in auto, and I'll go ahead and disable that alarm for another 72 hours to make sure that it, if it has 
whatever it has left to pump out over the next couple of days it can without affecting the chiller's operation. My expectation is after that everything goes back to normal and we're fine. End of the day, our primary problem was water flow. I think this revealed to us that we do have a really small leak somewhere, which was made worse by the surging we were having because of the water. And then whenever they were working on it, because of the surging, the atmosphere became bad enough, it couldn't run, but the purge unit was needed to be just adjusted accordingly to match what had already happened. So there were several things that were just kind of stacking on top of each other that got the guys that were working on it on site just kind of mixed up as to what direction to go with and how to go about addressing it. That's just experience. Plain and simple, it just requires it. So uh, that would be a good, good teaching moment for them. And uh, I'm really happy with where the chiller's at. It's running great, it sounds great. The purge looks good. So I think we just, we let it do its job from here and uh, peace out.